Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video. I'm Naz Mr. Kapkandikar and Assalamu Alaikum and welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, we'll talk about how to use your Windows 8 key to install Windows 8.1. And the reason is, you might, as you might know, if you have Windows 8.1 CD or DVD or DVD or digital media, that you will not be able to install Windows 8.1, at least the original version, with the Windows 8.0 key. Oh, how, what it, how, how it works is that to install it, you will need a Windows 8.1 key. But you, if you already have Windows 8.1 installed, you could activate it with Windows 8.0 key. I know it's very strange. Um, because Windows 8.1 is technically free for users of Windows 8.0, anyone with a Windows Phone Windows 8.0 key can activate Windows 8.1. But you cannot use that to, at least you could not use that to install Windows 8.1. But it's changing now as of... I guess a few months ago when Microsoft provided a newer version of the setup that does accept a Windows 8.0 key. So now you could actually install Windows 8.1 with your Windows 8.0 key. So to let's get, to get started, you'll need to download the newer version of Windows 8.1 setup. To do that, open up your web favorite web browser um, and then go to your favorite search engine such as Google or Bing. I'll go to Google this time, although I use Bing sometimes or Google the other some other times. And then, no, oh, it's so bright, I gotta turn the brightness down a little bit. Okay. And then type in install, oh, actually download Windows 8.1 recovery. And we're gonna click the right link, and the first one is this one. Actually, this one. Uh, okay, I think it's this one. Yep. Yeah. So let's go back. Um, the one that says "Create installation media for Windows 8.1 Windows Help." The URL is windows.microsoft.com/slash/n dot ca because I'm using Canada English right now so it'll be in US if you're English US or any, or any other country so windows or Microsoft dot com slash in dot dash US slash windows eight dash eight slash create dash reset dash refresh dash media but I'll have the link to this uh, website in the description of this video so click it and in the bottom of this page you'll see the create media button click that and click save or run whichever you prefer and then we'll click run and make sure this is by Microsoft Corporation so you're not un installing unknown software so maybe you went to the wrong website so wait for the setup to launch first you need to select your language and addition make sure the addition matches the one that for which you have the key so if you have Windows 8.1 Pro key you must install Windows 8.1 Pro. If you have a Windows 8.1 key, you must install it, or with 8.0 key, you must install the regular version and not the Pro version. So make sure you get the, that right. And the architecture, download the one that works for your system. So for me, I have a 64-bit system. Actually, I'll I'll try the 32-bit because I have both 32-bit and 64-bit uh, systems for Windows 8.1. So I'm gonna click next. And then they're gonna ask if you want to use a USB drive or a ISO file. Um, I stick with USB. I actually stick with ISO file because I could save the media later, and you could burn it to a DVD or install it directly from the ISO. So you could choose the USB media. You'll need a f flash drive with four gigs of space, and all your files in the flash drive will be deleted. So you'll need to empty it out or back up your data. But for me, I'll choose an ISO file. It's gonna ask where where I want to save it. I'll save it on my. Um, I'll save on my uh, desktop, I guess. Uh, actually, I'll save on my documents folder. Um, let's call it Windows. Oh. Call it Windows um, 8.1 Pro. It's 32 bit. X86. Okay. So I'll write that down and click save. Wait for the download to finish and when it's done we should be able to use our Windows 8.0 installation key to install Windows 8.1. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.
Okay, so the download has been finished, and once the download is finished, sorry I closed the dialog box, but I did manage to take a picture of it. It says burn the ISO file to a DVD. Make sure you have the product key when you are ready to install. Basically, um, if you chose the USB option, you will now have a rebootable recovery media on your USB, or if you chose an ISO file, you should have it saved, which you can now burn to a DVD and boot from it and uh, install it if you on a computer that doesn't have Windows on it, or use it to format your hard drive. However, uh, my favorite method is if you already have Windows 8 or later installed, you could just double click the ISO and run setup from there, and you could do a clean install as well, uh, without even having to burn a DVD. Um, if you have Windows 7 or earlier, you might need to download a tool that lets you mount the ISO files to, so you could install directly without having to burn the DVD. I'm running Windows 10, so I could use the I could double click the ISO right here. Now I downloaded both the 32 and the 64 bit version, so I'll since this particular PC that I'm running it on uses the, is a 64-bit Windows, I have to use the 64-bit media. Again, choose the architecture that your PC is supports and the edition that your keyword is designed for. So I have the Windows 8.1 Pro, I'll double click that. And now the ISO automatically opens. All you have to do is cl double click setup.exe or the setup file. Just double click that and wait for the setup to load. Uh, when this uh, the setup starts, uh, you will be given the option to get important updates. Uh, usually, I'll pick download and install updates recommended, but since I'm doing a demo, I want to do it quickly, so I'll click no thanks. But I recommend you do that. Click next. As saying checking your PC and you're getting a few things ready. And once this is done doing this, we should be able to paste in our Windows key, Windows 8.0 key. And there, there we go. It's just product key and you will be able to type paste in your Windows 8.0 product key and it should work so I'm gonna pause the video and paste in my product key give me a second okay so I am gonna paste in my product key and there it is it says it's checking your key and this is a Windows 8.0 key not a 8.1 key and it says your product key works continue when you're ready and as you can see I'm able to install Windows 8.1 now with my Windows 8 key. So, and click next, and you should be able to on your way to install Windows 8.1. Again, thank you, um, thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. And um, enjoy installing Windows if you had issues with this before. So, bye.